Today we'd look at Mojo Pin by Jeff Buckley. Uh, I really like this tune. I'm a really big Jeff Buckley fan. There's a lot going on, but it's not too complicated. There's a lot going on, but there's only three bits. So if you can get those bits down, then it's not too bad. Uh, the song's in drop D, so we'll talk briefly about how to put it into drop D tuning. Uh, if you could like, comment, if you like the lesson and all that, subscribe to the channel, really helps me out. If you've got any questions or requests, just pop them below, I'll get back to you and check out my album which is in the description below and yeah let's go for a closer okay so just to talk about that drop d tuning if you play your d string and then tune your bass so it's an octave lower that's one way just using your ear the other way is to go seventh fret on the bass rather than the fifth fret and play the a string should be the same note okay or alternatively use a tuner so First thing we're going to do is look at the intro because it's the same as the verse. We've got the C6 chord, so we've got your, if you take a normal C chord and then drop your middle finger down a string, so you're playing the A there, that's the added sixth, and then you've got your little finger just adding a G on at the top. Okay. And then we've got this finger picking pattern, so we've got thumb on the A string, middle finger playing the B string, then index playing the G, then ring finger playing the thin string. So thumb, middle, index, ring. Okay? So A string, B string, G string, thin string, E string. Can you do that twice? Let that last note ring a bit, so there's a little bit of a pause between each pattern. Once more slow. Then take off your ring finger and your little finger, so you've got this kind of A minor chord. Do the same pattern once. And then we bring our little finger to the third fret of the B. Oh, sorry, not yet. Do the first three notes of the pattern, so thumb, middle, index, A, B, G. Then for the last note, instead of playing the thin string, we're going to bring our little finger to the third fret of the B and do a pull off. Okay, so all together that is. So I'll put that second half together. Okay, a little bit more up to speed. So we'll go through all the way through the intro and the verse really so. Okay, and that's all it is just for the whole way through the verse and uh, the intro. He just plays that round and round and round when he's leading into the chorus. So when he's going, touch my skin to keep me whole, and he leaves that bit going. We have this chord, which is a D chord. So if you bar the second fret and play the third fret of the B, just like you would play a D all over the bar, then the little finger grabs the fifth fret of the E string. And because you've got an open D, you're going to play all the way to the bottom. What he does is he up strums, just nice and slow, okay? So that would come after the bits you've done on C. It's kind of instead of the A minor bit. Then he goes back into the intro, and you go around again. When he's going to the chorus, he does that same thing. Then he does an up strum into this F chord, and D sounds out of tune. But because it's like an F bar chord, 
or power chord that you would normally play. But we've got drop D, we're going all three. So it's going to be third fret of the bass, third fret of the A string, third fret of the G, and then he lets the other ones ring out. It's a very Jeff Buckley sort of clashy chord. And he starts with an upstrung. But before we get to that, we'll just look at the rhythm for the chorus. So it's going to go down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So we've got some 16th notes. So it's always good if you can write this down. But the rhythm's not super, super, you know, structured. You can change it around a little bit, depending on what you're playing. So I'll just talk you through it. So it goes one, two, a three E and, four E and, a. So a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. Okay, so if you played that on the F, that's the first bit of the chorus. Then we come to a D7 sus2 chord which is just that one and a two again, but we're just gonna play the top four strings. So it's first fret of the B, second fret with the G. Do the rhythm. Back to F, do the rhythm. Then we come to D7 sus4, and we do the first bit of the rhythm. One, two, a three, E, and, and then for the four, you play the fourth, B, slide up to three and four, and then the slide replaces like the up, so it's like down, down, up, so four and a. Okay, that's gonna happen quite a lot, so where there's a slide up, it's gonna replace that up strum. So I'll just play that D7 sus2 into G bar. Sounds a bit confusing. One, two, a three E and four E and a. to F, do the rhythm, and now we do the same thing, D7 sus2 to G, but this time we slide up on the third beat, not the fourth beat. So again, that slide replaces the up strum, down, down, up, down, slide, down, down, up, down, up. Again. You can be a little bit loose with this. If you find it easier to do something slightly different, that's cool. Okay, so that's the first half of the chorus. We'll just go through it nice and slow. F, D7 sus2, F, D7 sus2, sliding up to this G at the three and four on the fourth beat. Then F, D7 sus2, sliding up to G on the third beat. start still at this three and four but we're going to play it and slide back to one and two so that's like one two and then we're going to have that up into three we've got a slightly different chord we've got d sus two again so we're going to have third fret of the b with your ring finger second fret of the g with your middle finger first fret of the a string so you've got this b in the bass with your first finger and then you would do the rhythm from there, so 3 E and 4 E and a. So if I put that together from the slide. I like to change on the up strum before, you can stay. And change on the 3, whichever you prefer. I'm pretty sure that Jeff does it on the third beat, uh, sorry, on the, like the up strum before the third beat, uh, but it's quite hard to hear with all the other bits going on in the song. Then we come to D, 
Uh, he does a finger picking bit just for now. We'll just do two down, like stay with the rhythm. But instead of doing a proper D, it's just second fret of the thin string, third fret of the B string. One, two, and then on the a three E and you're going to change to a D seven sus two again. The first chord we have one and two. Slide up to the G again, so this is the next bar. Slide down, up, so one, two, a three, slide back. Finish the rhythm. So it's a half bar of G, half bar of D7 sus4. And then just the last bit is a rhythm on D7, so you bring your little finger, uh, sorry, your ring finger in to play the second fret of the E. I know that can all get a little bit confusing, so I'll just play through that second one really slow. does change slightly and this is where you can be a little bit looser is once you come out of this D with the B in the bass uh, which would be the down up down down up down up and you get to this little D he does in the right hand E string B string G string so ring middle index do that twice and then just do E B out of that and then to compensate he just does like the the rhythm that you would do normally for the one and two down down up down for three and four so it'd be like one and two and three and four and one two sorry that's the wrong count one e and a two e and a three four a one Okay, and then the rest of it's the same. Add in that finger picking part last. Um, if you get the rest of it down, it sounds really nice. So for the bridge, there's just one little bit to go. And it's mainly all in the right hand. We're gonna go, we've got five chords in it. The first one is just the one and two, then three and four, all on the B and the G, six and seven, 10 and 11. Second time round, one and two, three and four, six and seven, nine and 10. Another one of Jeff Buckley's pretty clashy chords. And the rhythm in the right hand is quite hard, it's just because it's fast. All it is is down, up, down, up, and then a little mute. I like to use my ring finger. Uh, you can use your right hand in the and just do the side mute. I just like to rest the ring on there. So that's all it goes. It goes down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, mute, down, up, down, up, mute. Second time round. And then just a little bit quicker. When you get to the fourth time round, Seven, depending on what you're feeling. So that bridge goes. And that's everything there is to it. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed that lesson. As I said before, if you could like and subscribe to the channel, that really helps. Uh, and check out the album and any questions or any comments, any requests you'd like for lessons, pop them in below and I'll get back to you. And have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.